feet. If you're a runner, there's a new concept in shoes that makes it feel like you're running barefoot. But they might not be right for everyone. Luke Carbon is the manager of the store. He joins us live with more. He's at Runaway Shoes in Ashwaubenon. Good morning, Luke. Good morning, Rachel. So it, just to recap a little bit from our last segment, what are these shoes? Yeah, the shoes we're looking at today are what we call a minimalist type running shoe. It's going to have a lot less cushion, a lot less support, and it's meant to promote, promote more of a forefoot strike instead of striking on the heel. More of a, if you want to call it more natural foot strike, people are looking, you know, less is more. That's the big thing in the running market today. So do you see a lot of people coming in to get shoes like this and try them out? Yep, yep, definitely every day, you know, there's a lot of interest. You see it, you know, in the news, on Google. Uh, Runner's World publication, there's been a book really popular called Born to Run that's really spurred this movement along. And uh, a lot of people are really interested in it. And then once they try them out, are you hearing what they think about them? Yeah, you know, at our store at least, the majority of the feedback has been really positive. And I think that's why there's been such a boom here for these minimalist type shoes. Again, you know, it's not for everybody. Not everyone is looking for that. Some people really do want more supportive, more cushioned feel. But some people just like to feel their old a little bit more. And we were talking about this yesterday, preparing for this segment, and you said you actually will be using different muscles and running differently than you would on the traditional running shoes. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, with that said, obviously there's a case for a little bit of injury can come up. You know, ever since you start growing up, you're wearing traditional shoes with more of a heel. Uh, so when you switch to a shoe where you're landing more on your forefoot, you're going to use those different muscles more in your calf and your ankles. And your whole musculoskeletal system, since you've been growing up, is formed to you know, being a heel striker. So going to be more of a forefoot striker can cause some changes. So we really recommend you know, a nice slow transition. Maybe it's doing drills, a few strides, before you really even go out and just do runs in these types of shoes. And the benefits of running in something like this? You know, a lot of people think that there's a benefit that you should just run you know, more minimalist or you should run in typical shoes. I really feel that the benefit in lays in, in wearing both these types of shoes. Most of the injuries you incur from running are going to be that repetitive nature, uh, same trauma, stride after stride after stride. So if you can mix it up, you're doing some of your runs in your traditional heel striking shoes, and then you switch a couple days, you're doing some drills or some shorter runs in shoes where you strike more with your forefoot. It just mixes it up. You're not going to have that same repetitive strike. And that's where you can kind of reduce that chance for injury. So me buying a pair of those isn't automatically going to make me a faster runner? <laughs> well, you know, if they're really comfortable and you wear them a little more often, uh, the more you're out there running, I guess that'll help a little bit. Maybe. All right. That was a good answer. Good answer, Luke. And he's at <laughs> Runaway Shoes in Ashwaubenon. They also have a store in Oshkosh and Appleton. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, thank you. Interesting stuff. He kind of laughed at me, though. Uh, oh, Ooh, no. Did you talk to him before the show? I would never <laughs> do that. He just was they, laughing because you're already fast enough, he's thinking. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 